South Korea will work to win 30 overseas construction orders worth some 100 billion US dollars. The government today unveiled a package of measures to support Korean builders to win contracts to construct social overhead capital and plants abroad. The government will create a special loan guarantee fund of some 300 billion won to provide liquidity support to the country's auto parts makers hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. The government and Hyundai Motor will each pay 10 billion won to help finance the fund and GM Korea and local governments are in discussions to decide on how much contributions they will make. The National Human Rights Commission called for greater efforts to protect and enhance the rights of the elderly. In a statement issued to mark World Elder Abuse Prevention Day on Monday, the Commission said that senior citizens are left the most vulnerable in the times of the coronavirus pandemic, and it also noted that the global fatality rate among those aged 80 or older is five times higher than that in other age groups. The South Korean Air Force will mobilize its KC-330 aerial tanker to send rotational troops and supplies to the nation's AK unit deployed in the United Arab Emirates. Prior to the mission scheduled for later this month, the aircraft will also be dispatched to bring home the remains of Korean soldiers buried in Hawaii in commemoration of the 70th anniversary of the Korean War.